A staircase was placed on one side to connect the two floors. The successive phases of work have given to the building the look you see. The earthquake action was simulated through the excitations produced by one mechanical exciter able to generate horizontal thrusts with variable frequency and magnitude. The structure behaves as an oscillator endued with a known vibration period and submitted to impelling cyclical forces. Three series of tests were carried out in the prototype, each series with a duration notably longer than a normal seismic event. For the, the first, first series, series of, of tests, tests, the mechanical, mechanical exciter was placed, placed on a level with the first floor, floor, where it was concentrated most of the seismic load giving to the structure a maximum acceleration of 5 meters by square seconds and transmitting a maximum load of approximately 2,000 decanewton, which is the ultimate load reachable by the machine for a duration of 80 seconds and ranging with continuity on the whole frequency spectrum up to the maximum frequency reached, result to be equal to 21 Hz. The maximum displacement noticed by the laser vibrometers on a level with the first floor resulted to be equal to 0.13 mm. For the second series of tests, the mechanical exciter was placed on the covering floor on level with the roof ridge. Considering the static scheme of the building, which behaves as a shelf, such a position corresponds to one able to produce the greatest dynamic effects, with a maximum load of 2000 decanewton. Accelerations of 9 meters by square seconds were noted with maximum displacement equal to 0.4 millimeters, always on a level with the first floor. In order to test the prototype under the most severe conditions, it was decided to carry out a third series of tests with the mechanical exciter placed on a level with the eaves, on the side adjacent to the staircase. Indeed, the structure, because of the presence of the staircase, shows an asymmetrical configuration that submitted to the horizontal actions generates some twisting stresses. During this third series of tests, accelerations of about 10 meters by square second were noted when reaching the resonance frequency as in the previous cases. The maximum displacement noted on a level with the first floor were about of 0.3 millimeters. Considering the weight of the building equal to 170 kN and the weight of the global seismic loads, it can be gathered that the force through which the structure was stressed was higher than one expected from a seismic event of the first category, which is the strongest force provided for by the Italian seismic sector rules. As you can see, the M2 building did not endure any sort of damage. The results of the course undertaken by M2 since a long time